Is Bitdefender a trusted antivirus? Does it live up to its bold claims or does it fall short? How well does it protect against viruses and malware? And how does it compare to other leading antivirus providers? Find out everything in this video. In this review, I'll be looking at Bitdefender's security record, pricing when compared to other antivirus platforms, its usability across mobile and desktop platforms, and whether the optional features are really worth it. In each stage, you'll learn whether Bitdefender is a winner, a loser, or needs improvement. And by the way, don't forget to check out the links in the description section for sweet discounts on all the best AVs. You'll save up to 60% using these special links. Let's focus on security, which is our first stage. If we do a quick comparison between the most recent AV test results of five different providers, Norton, Bitdefender, Malwarebytes, AVG, and Avast, these scores are given as a total out of six. As you can see, these top AVs are all very similar, and Malwarebytes is the only AV on this shortlist that is below six. While AV tests are great at telling us about the results other people get, what about regular users like you and me? Well, to do that, you either have to put your AV to the test by downloading a bunch of viruses or visiting a bunch of harmful websites. And let me be clear, do not do this. Or you can download the iCar anti-malware test file to see if the real-time protection is awake. Your AV should also have the same reaction to the website where you can download the malware. I can confirm the web protection works because I received a big red warning followed by an are you sure question. The separate antivirus also gave me a notification of an unsafe website. After I downloaded the file, which required me to ignore Bitdefender's warnings, I decided to try to execute it. And both Microsoft Defender and Bitdefender decided to steal my file. It then locked it into quarantine and is keeping it there until further notice. So we can confirm that the antivirus program works for us and the world can confirm that it works for them through AV tests professional setting. It even works with low system load, which is a huge deal if you want to do other things. It's also worth noting some of Bitdefender's optional security features. You get a advanced threat detection, which is Bitdefender's real-time protection, the thing that blocked our file from earlier. Vulnerability scan, which reviews your operating system, applications, and network settings for vulnerabilities, such as being out of date or having an unsecured connection. Ransomware mitigation, which literally just scans for ransomware activity. Audio and video protection, allows you to add an extra layer of protection on your webcam or microphone. And an anti-tracker, which is your standard browser-based system that blocks third-party cookies. Overall, Bitdefender gets a win on security thanks to solid security features and consistently impressive AV test results. Before we continue, let me know which antivirus is your favorite in the comments. For stage two, I'll examine how easy it is to use. First, the desktop version is good. The interface feels like it was intended for a touchscreen computer. All the buttons are massive and make it easy to navigate. My only problem is that it isn't immediately obvious where everything is through the protection, privacy, and utilities sections. Each of the subcategories, or different tools under each tab, could technically be in either of these. For example, you might consider parental controls more of a utility than a privacy issue. However, you can overcome this with some experience using the platform. Looking at the mobile version, I've got no major issues with it. It's got a pleasant enough interface that's relatively harmless and easy on the eyes. I personally like the scanning interface and the chat protection interface. We'll get into chat protection more in stage 4. My only confusion comes from the web protection protection, which all the potential browsers you could get under web protection. I guess the developer wanted to show off how many browsers they could support. I also appreciate that they separated the VPN and password manager into their own things. Again, we will review those in detail later. However, I will be putting the ease of use under needs improvement instead of a win, mainly because of an issue I ran into during my pricing issue, which I will cover in the next stage, which is pricing. Unfortunately, Bitdefender has organized its pricing so that it's difficult to determine in which plan offers what. The compare now does the best at this, but even so, it doesn't have a table breaking down exactly what you need. So I decided to do it for them. Here you go, Bitdefender. You can use this as inspiration for your website. That said, even this list doesn't include all of the plans available. Bitdefender's benefit is that it offers a lot of flexibility in its pricing. So some of the plans on this table, including the ultimate, premium, total, internet security, and plus plans, which vary by the number of people you can bring on. You might also wonder what the renewal pricing is for these plans and how they compare to others. Well, that's why I've got another table. 
Now this table might make Norton look very expensive. Bitdefender looks kind of expensive and everyone else is a reasonable choice. However, many of these cheaper plans don't come with the identity theft protection you get with Bitdefender. So if you want more identity protection, Bitdefender and Norton offer the best options. Bitdefender is probably one of the most reasonable choices you can make among the top providers. So they have won the pricing battle overall. Nevertheless, Bitdefender is a bit expensive. So if you want further discounts on Bitdefender's plans, click on the link in our description to get up to 60% off. When we look at the optional features you get with Bitdefender, there are a few great features and a few not so great features. Let's explore all of them. First, you get a VPN with most of Bitdefender's plans. However, most of the same plans have a 200 megabyte per day limit. So if you can imagine destroying your VPN with one download, you don't have to. Bitdefender makes that a reality. If you pay for the most expensive plan, ultimate or premium, you can get unlimited access. However, alternatives like Surfshark cost far less than the extra you have to pay. So unless you want the identity theft insurance of $2 million available at the highest tier plans, it's not worth it. The password manager is also nothing to shout home about. It's got a password generator and works across all major platforms. It also has an autofill, although that autofill isn't as good as what you get with other password managers, such as RoboForm. The two useful optional features are the file shredder, which removes files from your system permanently, and the system optimizer, which automatically clears junk files, registry cleanups, and browser data. The one-time optimizer doesn't let you control what files you remove, which is a bit of a bummer. Unfortunately, neither the shredder nor the optimizer is available for the mobile version. The optimizer, in particular, is incredibly handy for mobile devices. The only other optional feature, not really connected to a different plan level, is the ability to set up profiles. Files. For example, you can limit notifications and system load while watching movies or playing games. This feature has become standard on most antiviruses. So because of a relatively weak list of optional features, Bitdefender gets a needs improvement in our last category. So is Bitdefender a worthwhile purchase? It really depends on your priorities. For many users, the mid-level plan, Total Security, offers the best value. However, if you need a VPN and a password manager, you should consider either the premium or ultimate plan, depending on on your specific needs. In general, Norton tends to be more expensive than Bitdefender. Bitdefender serves as a well-priced premium antivirus option that is affordable for more people. For these reasons, I believe Bitdefender is a worthy investment. Next, check out this video of the best antivirus software, or this video covering the best VPNs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.